Now uh, we will solve some problems uh, that will ex uh, involve heat exchange with, uh, between two bodies and uh, some processes will be irreversible, some will be uh, reversible. Uh, so we begin. This is the first one of the series. We have two uh, blocks, masses M, identical blocks. Uh, Z and at T cold, MC. So this is at the lower temperature, cold temperature, this is the hot temperature, and then we connect them. But these are not uh, reservoirs, namely uh, their temperatures uh, will change. So the first one is, of course, from the hot to cold, there will be an irreversible flow of heat. The question is, what is the uh, final temperature and what is the change in entropy. Okay, these are the things. So, Q that is taken off from the hot reservoir is given to the cold uh, reservoir. And when both reach, so the temperature of this thing is dropping because it's losing heat, and this is gaining heat, uh, therefore its temperature is increasing. So there is finally a final temperature. So when there is a final temperature, uh, both of them, same temperature, then uh, heat will no longer flow. So what's that temperature? The Q is uh, what is lost by the hot one, that's MC. Uh, this is the specific heat per unit mass, TH minus TF. And Q is also the same heat that's taken by this one, MC, TF minus TC. So these are equal because the heat lost by this one was taken up by, with that, TH minus TF, that's equal to MC, TF minus TC, so MC is cancelled. We see that TF is equal to, it's the arithmetic mean of uh, these two. This is the, so when the temperature drops, of course, this is because we took the uh, two masses uh, the same. Otherwise, uh, it would be the weighted average. And the same, same uh, we took the same specific heat, just to keep all the algebra simple. Okay? So this is the final temperature. What about uh, the t uh, entropy? This has lost Q at temperature he. So let's call this, let's say, 2 and 1. Delta S2 is minus T, uh, yes. We have to do this. The heat involved is MC dt. We divide, this is the delta Q. We divide by T and integrate uh, from the initial to final. Initial to final. That means uh, delta S2 is equal to MC log. The final temperature is TF. Initial temperature is E, TH. This is MC log TF over T final over T initial for both of them. So delta S1 is the same. Uh, MC log TF over TC. Again, although this process is irreversible, heat rushes uh, and finally equilibrium is reached. But we are calculating, it is as if uh, we've done it reversibly, because otherwise we cannot compute the ent entropy. Why can we do it? Because entropy is a state uh, function. Okay? Even though this process was uh, irreversible, we are computing the entropy change through a, a reversible process, as if heat did not rush, but we have reduced the temperature of this thing uh, slowly. 
by all right uh, so delta s1 plus s2 is equal to mc log tf square over th times tc but we found what uh, tf uh, was it is the arithmetic mean so uh, delta s total is equal to mc log th plus tc square over 4 th tc now the question is is this uh, larger than zero did the entropy increase that means uh, the logarithm uh, argument has to be larger than one otherwise log is negative so let's check that is th plus tc square is it larger than 4 th tc we bring it back, uh, to the left side this will have uh, all right let me just read th square plus 2 th tc plus tc square minus 4 th tc so this knocks it out minus 2 now you see that this is th minus tc square since uh, hot temperature was larger than cold temperature it is definitely and we are taking the square this is larger than zero and the answer to that is yes entropy has increased by this amount and it was uh, an increase with tf being the arithmetic mean of these temperatures this is the part one of 3a so this is 3a part one part two we will operate a reversible engine So uh, again, uh, let me raise this part also. Again. We assume these uh, cycles are infinitesimal, namely at every cycle, uh, temperature uh, of these blocks change a little, etc. But the, at the end, uh, Q2 amount of heat is taken from TH, uh, and Q1 amount is dumped onto uh, lower reservoir, and um, uh, W work was done. If the uh, engine is reversible, and of course, this uh, provides the maximum amount of work. So uh, Q1 is equal to MC TF minus TC. And Q2, the heat given off is MC, uh, MC TH minus TF and Q2 is equal to Q1 plus W. That's the conservation of energy. All right, that's the... Uh, but you see, TF is not well, uh, known now because uh, if, uh, we have three equations, uh, but... Uh, T 
TF is not known, W is not uh, known. So the, we handle uh, the, the we can uh, get a handle on this problem by looking at the entropy, because it's a reversible engine. At the end of the cycle, total entropy uh, will be zero. So delta S two is m c log t f over initial t h delta s engine but because this was a cycle it is zero delta s one is m c log t f over t c we add them up Delta S total. Now this must be zero because it's a reversible cycle. And remember the Clausius theorem. Therefore, this is equal to M C. If you just add them up, this is the log of T F square or T H T C. Now, if it is zero, this must be log of one. So Tf square is Th Tc, or Tf is equal to root Th Tc. Now this is different from uh, the final temperature of the irreversible process. Tf irreversible was the arithmetic mean, Tf plus Tc over 2. This is that. Okay, and what about the work done? Work done is W is Q2 minus Q1, that is MC TH minus TF minus MC TF minus TC or W over MC is equal to TH plus TC minus 2TF. Let's put the value in. This is TH plus TC minus 2 root th tc. We see that uh, the work done is mc root th minus root tc square. Right? Square th tc minus 2 root th tc. So this is the work done. So uh, in doing the reversible uh, thing, we obtain a different uh, temperature. Now, which one is higher? Uh, is this one higher or that one higher? Let's check that one. So we computed the work also, so I'm racing. So TF irreversible minus T final reversible. So for example, is it larger than zero or not? So this is TH plus TC over two minus root TH TC. So multiply by two, divide by two. So that's equal to, again, TH minus root TC square over 2. So this is positive. That means uh, by using a reversible engine, the final temperature achieved is lower. So by operating a reversible engine, we get a maximum work uh, and it is possible to lower the temperature. All right, so we studied the irreversible and reversible 
uh, transfer of heat from the hot body to the cold body until they reach this, uh, at the same temperature and of course uh, reach the same temperature means uh, in the irreversible case no uh, heat flowed and the uh, reversible case finally the machine stopped because reservoirs have the same temperature.